Okay, come here, buddy. All right, this is the second video we're making. Jack's already fairly tired, as you can see from his tongue hanging out, but he's catching his breath. And again, we are gonna demonstrate the awesome dog exercise technique and game called Rope Bear. He's still learning what that means. So basically, you take a stuffed animal or other soft object that will not damage the dog's mouth or teeth in any way, um, with no hard or sharp objects on it. You tie that on the end of a rope, clothesline, cord, some kind of rope, something that also does not have any sharp or metal objects on it. Don't use a leash or anything that has a, any metal hooks or anything like that on it. Okay, you tie. You tie the prey, the prey on the end of the rope. I use eight for minimum of eight feet, 10 or 12 feet is a good length. Wrap the, the end of the other end of the rope around my non-dominant hand, my left hand, and use my right hand to guide it. And here we go. The maximum exercise for my dog with minimum exertion by me or you. He's a little tired already because we did this for 10 minutes. We did this for 10 minutes. Went in the house and got Jack some water. And here we are again. Every once in a while, you want to let the dog catch it. You, depending on how quick you are, how sharp you are, and how fast your reflex is, and how, how sharp and agile the dog is, you probably could keep it away from him for a very long time. But it's really important, every once in a while, to let the dog catch it so he doesn't get frustrated so he can get that sense of accomplishment that he succeeded. And then you repeat as many times as necessary to make your dog tired and happy. And then you can go back to your daily activities for a while and while your dog takes a nap happily and know that he got good exercise. It's also a lot of fun for the human too. It's not just fun for the dog. It's fun for it's fun for me. I lo I think it's a lot of fun. It's hilarious. Because a dog like this will just well you can see. He will go become airborne trying to he has no idea why I'm talking into this camera right now. Here we go. Good boy. Ready? See, the thing is, you can make it jump like a rabbit, or run like a squirrel, or fly like a bird. You can make it do 
all kinds of things and simulate an animal that he might want to chase. Like in his case, pretty much anything. And no animals are harmed in the making of this video. I like to try to always end on a note of success, so. I think he's ready for some more water. The tongue is hanging out. He's gotten some really good exercise. Come here, bud. Here you go. Come here. Here you go. He's gotten some really good exercise just in 10 or 15 minutes. The two videos I made. And that'll be good for a nap. I'm gonna go feed him right now. I should have worked up a little bit of an appetite. And I guess those are the main points. Nothing sharp that can hurt the dog in any way or that can be swallowed. Um, let them catch it every once in a while so they don't get frustrated. And make it as fun and energetic as you can. If you don't get around well, I ha actually have severe leakage in one of my heart valves and it looks like I'm going to be having heart surgery in the near future. So I definitely get winded pretty easily right now. This is That's the beauty of this, that you can make sure your dog gets all the exercise they need. He, he again has no idea why I'm talking into a camera, but bless you guys. You can make sure, even if you're not feeling well, don't have a big yard, don't drive, can't drive to the dog park, um, or you have some other physical limitation, as long as you're able to stand, or actually, I can even do it sitting down. But if you can stand and are reasonable enough to turn and have your basic uh, mobility, this is a great, great way to exercise your dog when you can do almost anywhere and have a lot of fun and have a really happy, tired dog. Thanks for watching and I hope your dog enjoys